Letitia traveled on different types of roads and she maintained the average speed prescribed for these types of roads. She stopped three times during the trip to take a break. Uh, so Letitia stated that the three breaks were approximately 25 minutes. So she stopped for 25 minutes, she stopped for 25 minutes, and she stopped for 25 minutes. That's what she's saying. So what I'm looking here is she's traveling on different roads. Then, and therefore the speed is going to be different because here they said if you travel on gravel it's 80 kilometers the maximum you should travel drive and if you travel on highway it's 120 kilometers the maximum maximum you can drive so she's not going to drive at the same speed and therefore she's not going to take the same time on the different roads okay so what i'm going to do is now verify calculations whether Letitia's statement is correct. So we want to see, did she really stop for 25 minutes on each break, right? Okay, so I'm going to come here again and say from Solitaire, going down here, and all the way to that Marental town, this total distance is gravel. And I'm going to calculate that first. So let's calculate the time on the gravel road. So let's do gravel. Right. So on gravel, I'm going to say time is equal to a distance over speed. And I'm not uh, assuming that it's given to me that time is equal to distance over speed. And then the distance is, it said on C14, which is gravel and C19, which is gravel, 140 plus 289. But you can also read it from the drawing the 80 plus 60 plus 180 plus 109 and the answer the total distance there is let's use a calculator 89 which is the distance that's 140 plus 289 429 so that would be time is equal to distance over of a speed and the speed here is 80 kilometers so that would be Time is equal to 429 divided by the speed, which is 80 kilometers, and that is divided by 80. And that gives us 5.3625 hours, right? And uh, she time is equal to distance of a speed. Let's find the distance then, because time is what we're calculating. Let's find the distance. The distance on the highway road. There is the highway road. We did calculate for the first question there, and we said it's 217. So that would be 217 divided by what is the dis the time speed or oh, the speed is 120. Okay. So 120, and we get the time there. So that is 217 divided by 120, and that gives us 1,8083333333 hours. So now we have the total time. Let's just add it together. 3.3625 plus 1.8083333333 plus 1.808. 33333 and that gives us 7,1708333333 right hours and then if she drove at 4 in the morning and arrived at 12:25 so to find the duration of this trip we'll say 12:25 minus 4 12.25 minus 4 hours. And then we'll say 5 minus 0 is 5. 2 minus 0 is 2. That's minutes. And then we can't, we can't minus those 2. So we're going to go borrow them. And that's 12 minus 4, which is 8. Right? So it's 8 hours and 25 minutes. That's how long it took. Right? So now I want to know the difference between the... the I want to minus the driving time from the total time so that I can see the stoppage myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert everything into minutes and subtract and see how many minutes that is left. Okay, so I'm start with this one. I'm going to start with this one and say 8 hours times 60 plus the 25 minutes. Don't forget the minutes goes with it. And that's going to give me the total minutes that is um, uh, traveled here. So 8 times 60 is equal to 480 plus 25. That's going to give me 
505 minutes. So I can see it in minutes. And then I'm going to come here and say what? 717, 7,1708, 3,3,3,3,3,3, multiplied by uh, 60. And that is 430.25 minutes. So this is the driving time in minutes.